Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update for Deck of Panning. This is a project pan that I created a couple years ago. After being inspired by books with Maddie's TBR game, this project pan is a lot of fun. It is game based with a game board that changes monthly and you'll need a deck of cards to participate. I have a really exciting update ahead, so if you're interested to see how I'm doing on this project pan, then just keep on watching. Let's start off with my Joker product. I did get the Joker, which is You Have Got To Be Joking, a product that you do not want to pan. That does not mean a product you're going to hate pan. It's just something that is going to be really challenging. Maybe it's something special to you or you only reach for it on special occasions. You can twist this around however you want, but it has to be something you don't want to pan. I'm trying to finish an eyeshadow in my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. This is a joker item for me because I've never finished an eyeshadow before and I really have no interest in pan that palette. I don't think that project would work very well for me. I will insert a picture of what Tempura was looking like last month and then what it's looking like this month. I used it 14 additional times bringing me to 77 uses in this project so far. I cannot believe I've used this palette 77 times this year. And as I mentioned in every update, I'm also reaching for other shades. I've hit an additional pan in this since rolling it into the project. Today I have Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, Primavera, a little bit of Realgar, and Tempura, along with other eyeshadows, but I am trying to utilize the palette as a whole, not just using that one shade, but my goal is to finish that shade. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of the year, but if it's not, it's really not that big of a deal. Next up for a splurge item, I put in a high-end primer. This is the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. I thought this was going to be just a couple more uses before empty as of the last update, but I actually used it 11 more times to finally finish this off for a total of 99 tracked uses for this primer. So this is finished. I really liked this to the point where I would have repurchased at some point, but I don't see this available anywhere, so I think this has been discontinued, unfortunately. For an affordable item, I had in my e.l.f. Chocolate Mint Quad with a goal to use it five times. As of the last update, I had used it three times, and since then, I have used it two additional times, meeting my five-use goal. I really like the quality is fine in this palette. I like it just fine. The reason I really struggle to reach for this is its size and not that I don't enjoy reaching for quads because I definitely can especially if I'm in a rush but it's that physically this is so small it just gets lost amongst my larger palettes so I need to be mindful of my smaller palettes like this. I do have quite a few and they all get neglected for that reason so maybe I should be storing these separately. Next for the prompt astrology sign, I am an Aquarius, so I chose my ColourPop lippy sticks in the shade Aquarius to again use five times. As of the last update, I had used it twice, and since then I have used it the three additional times needed. I am wearing this for the third slash the fifth time today. I wore this lipstick on my wedding day. It's getting very old, and it used to be my perfect cool toned nude. Nowadays I'm feeling like it's a little bit light for my preferences but I still really love the shade and I'm happy I got five more uses on this. For my favorite brand I chose Fenty. I am constantly intrigued by what Fenty is releasing. I'm always excited to try their products so I put in my Fenty cream bronzer for 20 uses as of the last update, I had used it 10 out of 20 times and I've only reached for five additional times, putting me at 15 out of 20 uses. So this will be a really easy one to roll out next time. The reason I wasn't able to roll it out this month is that I'm also trying to hit pan on another cream bronzer. So I'm reaching for that one much more. Hitting pan is gonna take more uses. I don't think I'll have pan in this at the end of the 20 uses though. 
it is looking much more used and abused, which I love. I love the shade of this one more than the other one I'm panning. It just matches my skin tone better. I do have the shade 2 Butter Biscuit. I really love this a lot. So I'm happy to be keeping this in for one more month. Last month I rolled in two products. The first was for a balm product or a black owned makeup brand and for that I chose my LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer in the shade LN6. I just set a 10 use goal on this and in the last month I've reached for it 6 out of those 10 times. I Again similarly with the Fenty one I have multiple products per category and there's another concealer that I'm currently trying to completely finish so I only reached for this one six times but I really do love the formula of this and the color is great for me in the summer. And lastly for the prompt hit a pan I rolled in my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Again the goal is to hit pan on this obviously and I've reached for it six times since the last update. There is not much of a change in here at all with only six uses. I would really love a pan showing in this by the end of this year though, but again, again, I'm also trying to finish a bronzer, so it's kind of hard to keep the balance, but I will continue working on this. However, today's update is very exciting because I am rolling out three products, the lipstick, primer, and the eyeshadow quad and I'm very close to my goal on two things again for next month so I'm very happy with how this project is moving along this year. Though I am rolling out three items I'm only going to draw in two cards because that will put me at six products still. For some reason I'm up to seven at the moment and I'd like to kind of we'll whittle that down and back to five eventually but I do want to draw two cards and see where that gets us. While I shuffle up my Winnie the Pooh deck of cards, I will pop in what the game board is looking like for the month of August. As always, I have not taken a very close look at the prompts on the board, and honestly, I don't really have any ideas of what products to roll into this project. I've been feeling kind of at capacity, but We'll see what we can find to work on. Maybe I'll have some easier goals once again. I am rolling out two products that I had a five use goal on and one to finish. We'll see. We'll see what the cards bring us. I'm feeling a little nervous. We're gonna draw two cards off the top. This is the two of hearts. The Two of Hearts is a primer. I just finished a primer, so I guess I'll be rolling in another one. That's fine. I have some sample size primers. Maybe I can finish another one this year and reduce my inventory a bit more. Okay, not mad at that. One more card. This is the Jack of Hearts, which is a cream or a liquid product. I'm gonna have to do some thinking and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and that wasn't as hard as I was worried it might be. So the first prompt I got was primer. And for that, I chose my Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. This came in like a Sephora Favorites kit, I'm pretty sure. And there's only five mils of primer in here. And it's not brand new. I will take a picture of where we are starting. And my goal will obviously be to finish this product. I finished quite a few primers this year and I'm really happy about that, so I would like to add another one. And for our second prompt, cream or liquid product, I chose a cream blush that is on my 24 to pan in 2024 list. This is the Ilia Multi Stick in the shade Dreamer. However, I'm kind of chickening out and I'm not quite ready to set the lofty goal of finishing this product. As I'm rolling out two items that had a five use goal and I have a, quite a number of harder goals in this project as well as others, I'm going to set a five use goal on this Ilia Cream Blush. It can It's one of those products that could be like cream blush, lipstick, whatever, and the shade Dreamer is a very nice neutral shade. I think it will go with a lot of things. I am panning a lot of blushes, but I think I can use this as a base underneath some of my other powder blushes I'm working on. I'm not sure. Blush is not the smart move here, but 
I'm just working on so many of each product category and this is one of the only creamer liquid products left on my want to pan for the year list that isn't already being worked on or already an empty. So that is kind of a good sign to see that, but fitting this in is going to be a challenge. So five uses on this. Sorry if that's a cop out. I am very pleased with how this project pan is going for me this year. For the next update, I want to have finished my uses on my Fenty Cream Bronzer. I only have five more uses to go, as well as my LYS Concealer. I only have four more uses to go, so these two should be really easy to roll out. The products I also rolled in this month should hypothetically be easy to roll out, but as I've mentioned, I'm working on so many products in each category that they never get my full attention and use every single day, so we'll just see where we end up at the end of this next month with those, but I am very pleased with this update. If you are also participating in a deck of panning, let me know how you're feeling about this project this year. For me, I feel like this year has been my most successful yet in terms of like rolling things over and keeping this project moving. I have nothing left from the beginning of the year, which feels amazing. Overall, as I've mentioned, I just feel really good about this project this year. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!